it can be dangerous, you know. And also the hood will not let you perpetrate a fraud. What I mean by saying that, if you are a gangster rapper now and you didn't put in work, but you're saying you was putting in all this work and doing all these things, the hood is gonna say, no you didn't. No you didn't, no you didn't. back raw perspective once again um my man was asking me why black people leave the hood after becoming successful um i think there's a lot of different reasons and sometimes just on the basic it's hard to be <clears throat> um a millionaire and be in the hood that you come from if it's the project or if it's a certain type of neighborhood it just don't fit but even though you may can't live there, you might can still contribute there. Um, <clears throat> I hear sometimes on the Instagram and different people will be saying like, um, fuck that, I ain't never going back or whatever like that. And when you think about how you may have become successful, some of your beginning ingredients came from that hood that you, you know, you might be talking about now. And some of those same people that you intermingled with and interacted with help you tune your craft in, in a lot of situations. Um, but you have to know the dynamic of the hoods that you fuck with. And you have to understand the hood will not let you perpetrate on a certain level. So if you wasn't a gangster and you made some gangster raps and you came back to the hood like you was a gangster, the hood is going to expose you. So when you hear about um, different things happening, you know, and also sometimes you got to feed the hood. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't have to be directly. You don't have to go sit in the projects and hang out. But your ears to the ground, people die. They need help with a funeral. Uh, this one is going through that. It's, it's just like, you know, you help, you help your hood out. And, you know... People have always get money, they give turkeys, they do certain things. We you know you can't you can't um be a guy worth 50 million and living in the hood that you came from. But you can always support where you came from. And I I I know that there's different dynamics. So if you the guy and you got the Rolex watch on, the big Cuban chain. And you, you welcome in your hood. But like in most cases, don't stay too long. Because if you stay too long, predatory behavior kicks in in other areas. Because there's the guy that says what's up. But when you look at him, you see that moment of, I don't like this motherfucker. So you see that before he straighten his face out. and be like, yo, what's going on? Good to see you. But even then, if you're paying attention, that he can't correct it fast enough if you're sharp to pay attention. And sometimes people are trying to escape the same hood that you escaped. And they might be, you know, in the drug game. They might be in, in different facets of life. So you might represent the come up for their change. So I might be like, okay, if we get we get dude, if we get him. We straight, we got a key. I mean, you saw it. We got a key, we rolling. Yo, but he knows that I don't give a fuck, man. Because you still have desperado dudes, desperado niggas. And for some of you that don't know what a desperado is, look, gun for gun, you die, you die. We all in, we all out. And a lot of people are not built like that today because this is not, the type of culture that produces desperados. You know what I'm saying? It's a certain terrain, it's a certain understanding. You know what I'm saying? So the hood will want you to just respect it. The hood sometimes protects you. You could be with some guys 
and they sitting around and hanging out and they be like, yo, man, get up out of here. Because they know, yo, just get here, get up out of here, man. They protecting you. But also when you're not there and somebody saying something and they might be like, nah, that's my man. Yo, when my brother died, man, he gave me 5,000 to help with the funeral. When my sister was going through that, he helped my family. So hood, the hood will protect you, but it can't protect you when you stay too long because it's the lurking of those people that need to come up and they just don't like you for no reason. Don't try to rash, don't ever try to rationalize this. It could be like, yo, they go such and such down the block. Yo, yo fuck that nigga. You're like, what would they do to you? I just don't like, I just don't like how he walk. Look how he get out of his car. I don't like him. You can't beat that. There's no rationale. There's no, you know, you can't beat that. And when you reach a value, you got to play in certain places where that value is respected on the level that it needs to be respected. Because if you're going to be with $10 dudes, $10 women, then how do you expect not to be handled like a $10 bill? I'm just, I'm just kicking it, man. Sometimes Kenny Green get in the flow, man, and start thinking about things. And, you know, I just let some things go. But, you know, I just think we have to have a balance, right? Because, you know, when we when we get out of our hood and get some bread, the hood still needs us. You know what I mean? So I understand we can't stay too long, but we don't have to verbally sometimes say, fuck that, I ain't never going back. Fuck the hood, this, that, this. I think because we, we need to drop something back to make it um, a path. So that other people can try to get out. You know what I'm saying? And you got to understand the mentality that <clears throat> people could fuck you up. Even though they love you. Even though they care about you. Because they're grabbing to get out. They're grabbing to get out. They will hurt you trying to get out. That's why they say if someone is drowning, be careful. They will drown you while you're trying to save them. So like they say, you knock that motherfucker out. Bam! Now you can save them easily. You know what I'm saying? So Kenny Green, Raw Perspective, man. Press the likes, subscribe. Let's just keep doing this thing, man. I enjoy talking to your people, man. So, you know, and the Diamond District documentary is getting ready to come. Check it out. It's just, it's, man, look, you're going to be surprised, man. Check the joint out and other things to come, man. Peace, y'all.